hey guys and welcome back to my youtube channel um this has been <laughs> i know i've been away from this youtube platform for maybe over two months pardon me because i won't say life has not been fair to me life has been by the grace of God because the Bible says by strength shall no man prevail so which means that I'm standing here not by my strength not by my power but it's by his grace and God I thank you for today and I thank you for whoever will be tuned to watch this video and I pray that whatever I am about to say right now I pray that it's able to capture people's attention it's able to touch their hearts it's able to impact lives in the name of Jesus my prayer oh God is that once again the way you made me the way you made me understand something just a week and a half ago I pray that you do same for whoever is going to watch my video in the name of Jesus. I do not have words. I lack words. I lack what to say. But I rely on you, Holy Spirit. Take over, Holy Spirit. Take control of my mouth. Take control of my, my thoughts. Take control of my ideas, whatever comes in in the name of jesus give me the words that i will be able to use to voice out or to pass this message across in the name of jesus <sighs> what i'm about to share today is it's a very is a sad news is it's just a wake-up call um it's a wake-up call to so what is happening it is um it is very sad it is very sad but it's a good thing on the other hand because the lord is welcoming his children into his kingdom anyway i don't want to stress it um i know you be, you may be wondering okay what is that that you want to talk about spill the milk because we're all listening. So um, a week and a half ago, I stumbled upon um, a post on Instagram. I think it was on Facebook, and then I went to I went on Instagram to verify the info, and to my greatest surprise, I was shocked to know that Pastor Nonti Odukoya is no more. It's no more. She's gone to be with the Lord. Personally, I've never met this woman of God, but I have been following her. I have been following the husband. I have been following Fountain of Life Church in Nigeria for, I would say, for years now. For years. Because I know his first wife, and I know that Pastor nanti is his second marriage the life or the lives that they spend together or the time that they have shared together was rather too short it was until i i saw that it was all over social media that i now realized i told myself hmm it is so sad it is so scary rather that someone or for someone to just sleep and not wake up the next day hmm. and the, and you just get the news that the person has gone person is no more oh god honestly the news ah <laughs> The news just sunk in my, it sunk in my heart, it sunk in my heart, it sunk in my heart. And I told God, give me the grace, give me the grace to 
be prepared. This issue of always wanting to procrastinate, me personally, I'm guilty of it, to procrastinate because I think that I have time. I do not. If God has given you an assignment, ah, please, let's all do it. If God has instructed us to do something, please, let's all do it. We must not just be serious with the assignment that God has given us. We also need to make sure that we are upright. We're living upright. That we are living the kind of life that God wants us to live. We need to make sure that we are right with God. Because, oh my God, we do not know. We do not know when God will take us away. I said, oh my God, this pastor that I used to follow on social media, <clears throat> I like her playful spirit, you know. She's always playing around and you could tell that she's a selfless human being. Always wanting to give more. You could tell that she has a lot more to give to people. She wanted to communicate love. She wanted to communicate peace through oh my god and it was all about the word of god she can take a little story you know and word it in such a way that she will now <clears throat> take us to the bible and with the scripture she will now pass the message across she can take anything in this life anything anything it could be her maybe conversation with someone it could be maybe <clears throat> what she has seen happening around her and she would take that situation she will like surround it with scriptures and she will pass the message she wants to pass across i would say i was impacted by that you see what the bible says that the end of everything matter matters the end of anything is more important than the beginning. It does not really matter how you start. But what matters is how you will finish. I told God. Mm. Let me not miss it, oh God. Let me not miss it. Give me the strength to live by your word, not just to live by it. Give me the strength to practice your word every blessed day, every day of my life, in good and in bad times. I want to be so soaked by the word of God. I want to be so drowned by the word of God. I, 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 oh my God. I want the word of God to be my standard. I want the word of God to be my mirror. The whole thing is just taking me back to um, my dad, my dad's memories. And I understood that God is not moved. Oh, God is not touched when someone dies. Mm -mm. On the contrary, that's his own way of calling his children back to him. You know, that you've served him on earth, that you have accomplished your mission, and now it's time for you to go back to your creator. God actually is so pleased to welcome his children into his kingdom. It is we, it is human beings, it is me and you who are really touched when we lose someone. But it, it is the word of God who comforts us. It is the word of God who reassures us that those who are no more, the Bible says that they are asleep and they are awaiting judgment. They are asleep. Because they are waiting to appear before the white throne of God. 
they have won the race. How about you and I that are still alive? Are we, are we, are we really running in our own lane? Are we really align ourselves with God's purpose, with his word? Are we doing the perfect will of God or our own will or the devil's will? Which one are you doing? I pray for the Otukoyas family. May God comfort them. It is not easy. It is not easy. It is not easy. It is so hard for me to even accept the fact that my dad is no more. It's hard. Now, how will it be for someone who has lost his first wife? After a couple of years, he remarried. Now he's losing his second wife. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. It is so painful to us. But we know that these souls are saved. We know that they are in a good place. That's for sure. But God comfort his family. Comfort them. Comfort them. It is indeed a great loss. It is indeed such a great pain. But the Bible says that you are the comforter. Comfort them, oh God. These times are really trying times for them. But I, I know, I know, I know. I know that everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. And I also know that if God has allowed that to happen, it's because obviously he has a better plan for this family. I just came here to share how deeply I was affected by, by the her departure. I was watching the funerals. I was watching the celebration of life and... Uh, uh, I was just telling God, oh God, oh God, let it be that if I have to go, if I have to leave this world, let it be that I have run the race, I have fought a good fight, yes, let it be that you were pleased with me. Let it be that I have lived right. I have lived the way you wanted me to live. Because I cannot afford hell. I cannot afford going to hell. I just can't. I just can't. Because that would be a waste of time for God to have created me. Or for God to have entrusted so much in me, it would have been a waste. But I refuse to be a waste for you who is out there looking at me or watching. Know that the days are evil. Know that you do not have time. If there is one particular sin that you're doing right now and you know God is not pleased, Kindly stop it. Stop it. Because the Bible says, What will it profit you to gain the whole world if you will lose your soul? We all can testify the way life is on this earth. We need to hear other people's stories to know that Actually, the kind of life I'm living or the situations or the struggles that I'm faced with, they're not even that bad until I hear what other people are really experiencing. So if these people will now have to tell you exactly how life has been so tough 
and how life has not been good, how life has not favored them. This is just on earth. How much more hell, how much more how hell looks like. I don't know about you, but I, I, I refuse to miss it. I just refuse. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't because I believe that God has paid too much to rescue my soul from death. God has just paid too much. His blood, his precious blood was too much to just have been wasted for a soul who has chosen to go to hell. Not me. Not my children. Not my family. No. Not me, not my children, not my loved ones. In the name of Jesus, we shall all make heaven by the special grace of God. If there is anything that you're doing, you know, do not please God. If you check yourself and you know the kind of lifestyle that you have does not glorify the name of God, kindly stop it because, because... Because the Bible says that the son that sin it shall die. One thing I've realized about the Bible is that as such, oh God, the Bible is just full of wisdom. The Bible is such a guideline. It's a guideline to guide you through life, to guide you through anything 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 and everything if the bible says do not do it why do you do that i don't know about you but me personally most of the times i've chosen to do my own will i've chosen to walk by my senses i have pushed away god's will i have um pushed away god's plan for my life i don't know about you but i i've regretted it I regretted everything. I don't know if you found yourself in that situation. So if the Bible says don't do that, it's, it's to protect you. Oh my God. It's to protect us. It's to save us. So actually it's for your and my benefit. And this is what God wants for us. So her death was like a wake up call for me. It was a call to repentance. I just told God all the things that I have done, all the things that I have said, please forgive, forgive me, forgive me. And it's funny how God is using all these life events, the pandemic, the death of people. God is using everything around us to make us realize and we do not really have that time. It is now or never. It is now or never. This life, ah, God, is empty. This life is empty, empty without God. There is nothing in this life. There is nothing. You speak with someone today, tomorrow the person is no more. I am talking to you today. I don't know what tomorrow holds. Please, guys. Please, guys. I do not know wherever you'll be watching me. But just know that time is all almost running out. And God is calling for repentance. For those who have ears. For those who have eyes. Let them see. And for those with ears. Let them listen. Let them yield to the voice of God. Let them yield to voice to God's calling this morning. She was just 47 years old. I know people die at 10. I know newborn babies die. I know you can die at any point in time. But that's not the point. The point is... Hopefully, by the time you die, you have run a good race and you have fought a good fight. 
and now you can just go and rest in the bosom of the Lord this is why we're doing what we're doing this is why every day we pray because the Bible says that you need to renew your mind every day because he knows any little thing that your mind thinks about you can sin Mm -hmm. you can sin just in a twinkle of an eye you can sin that's why you need to renew your mind every day not just every day every minute every second every hour every day renew your mind because this is how this is how you stay or you abstain yourself from sin and this is how you live righteous or this is how you live a righteous life. And by his grace, we shall all meet there. In Christ alone, my hope is found. He is my light, my strength, my song. This cornerstone, this solid ground. Firm through the fiercest drought and storm. What heights of love, what depths of peace. When fears are stilled, when striving cease. My comforter, my all in all. In all you do, remember that the end of everything matters much more than its beginning. Thank you and God bless you. I hope you were blessed. Bye for now. See you next time. Bye.